In the 1930s, the United States experienced an economic depression and an agricultural disaster. It was a great drought. People were not able to make a living on their farms. They began moving other places, looking for new lands to live on. People were in dire straits. One of the worst hit areas in the economy was agriculture. A program began under Rexford Tugwell, who was one of the advisors to President Franklin Roosevelt, to document the conditions under which people were living. This was back when we didn't have television. We had radio, but a lot of places didn't have electricity, so they couldn't listen to the radio broadcast to find out what was going on in other parts of the country. So they sent out photographers to take pictures of what was happening and put these pictures into newspapers whenever they could and into magazines, trade journals, things like that. Roy Stryker, who was a, an economist from Columbia University, was really persistent. He was the head of this project. He went to newspaper offices, contacted newspaper people, magazine people, just really pushed and pushed and pushed to get these pictures published and out to the reading public so they could see what was happening. 1939, when Kodak introduced color film, they sent film to Roy Stryker to have his photographers try out see what they could do. Kodak was trying to establish a new market, new product, and they wanted people who would know how to use it effectively to try it out and publicize it. The photographers produced over 1,600 photographs. You can see when you go online, you can see that they were bracketing. They were underexposing some, overexposing others, not knowing just where to set the light meters to get the best picture, but they got quite a lot of really, really effective pictures, beautiful pictures, and some sort of duds. A few double exposures, but the film was being developed elsewhere. They couldn't see the product that they had produced, so they were just learning how to use it. The Kodachrome slides are kept in an off-site storage location that has the right temperature and humidity condition to make them last as long as possible. We use the digital images exclusively at this point. We have them at as high a resolution as technology can produce at this point. We don't bother the originals because taking them in and out of their needed conditions will make them deteriorate more quickly and we want these to last in perpetuity. You can watch American Artifacts every Sunday at 8 a.m., 7 p.m., and 10 p.m. Eastern Time on C-SPAN 3's American History TV. For schedule information and to view programs, visit cspan.org history.